<laughs> all right, all right, party people. This is your man Grill. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Morning to you. 6.33 in the morning. On this wonderful 16th of well, September we in. Halfway through. How you work, man? How you closes, man? How you business been coming along? Whatever business you got. <laughs> put it in the chat. Tell me serious. Put it in the chat. How how you been coming along this, this month so far? 16 days in. Are you moving in the right direction? I haven't really checked to see what my notary count is. I know this past week I did, um, the week ending the 14th, I did probably 28 closings. Um, so I think that's, I'm going on the right direction. Um, and all that good stuff. So I'm happy about that. So, uh, last, well, y'all, um, thanks for watching the video about what our notaries really being trained to do. And, um, that's that's important that we need to figure that out. We need to figure that out. What are we really being trained to do? Um, because it's important. If we're not being trained properly, it could cause us to get into a lot of trouble. And just so you can see, I got here in my hand my Bybert policy, my new one. Um, just received it two days ago. So last night I was um, getting my docs prep. Um, I got two closings a day. And one of them was here, so one of them was, docs was ready. So I printed those, and while I was printing them, I saw, I remember that I had this, and I said, let me go look at this real quick. I was just glancing through. I had no reason to look through, like, like, oh, I'm looking for something. I was just like, let me glance through it real quick. And lo and behold, I said, you know, I was looking through. I said, what does this cover? Because people always talking smack about by Burke and. You know, insurance and get this and get that. And I said, well, you know what? What does the ENO insurance really cover? So I'm going to just go over this real quick with y'all, just so you can see for yourself. Now, you look at your own policy with your own company and see what they cover. Um, so, again, this is my Bybert policy. Um, miscellaneous professional liability. In other words, with them, it's called ENO insurance. Um Right there, you can see right there, professional liability E and O. Okay, so don't think the whole Griff is just making this up. Ooh, no, Griff ain't making nothing up. All right, so insuring agreements coverage. Okay, coverage. It says the company will pay on the insurer's behalf those sums in excess of the retention and within the applicable limits of insurance that the insured becomes legally obligated to pay as damages or claims expenses or claim expenses because of claims first made during the policy period and all that stuff, all right? It says coverage, um, again, coverage. For the purposes of this policy of insurance, Wrongful acts shall mean the following conducted or allegedly conducted by the insured or any person or organization for whom an insured is legally liable. Okay, so wrongful acts shall mean the following conduct or alleged conduct by the insured or any person or organization for whom an insured is legally liable. Okay, now I don't understand all every single thing. I'm early in the morning, but let's just stick it with us. Okay, we you know what I'm that I'm the one doing this. Okay, so any conduct or alleged conduct by the insured. Okay, that's me. A, negl a negligent act, error, or admission. Okay, so anything that I do that is considered a negligent act, an error, or admission. Or omission, I keep saying omission, omission, meaning something that has been omitted, okay? That's A. B is any form of defamation or other tort related to disparagement or harm to the character, reputation, or feelings of any person or organization, including liable, slander, product disparagement, trade, libel, infliction or emotional distress, malicious falsehood, 
outrage or outrageous conduct. Now, I'm going to be honest right now. There was some stuff that many of y'all know that I had got into a dispute with a particular individual in this notary business. And they were saying some very, very defamatory things to me. And now that I see this, I was like, hmm. And then I'm still wondering whether I should, I could pursue something because I have evidence that that person was very disparaging and um, talking a whole lot of smack toward me. I got evidence, audio and video evidence that they put out talking a lot of smack against me. So what this is saying that this insurance covers, meaning something that you do, that that person has done or anybody else, any form of defamation or other tort related or disparagement or harm to the character, reputation or feelings of any. Now, this is by verse. Now, again, if that person has or you have insurance that doesn't cover that, then you will be on the hook out of pocket. But you could hit somebody's E and O insurance depending on how their policy is written. But then at the same time, this is a policy that's, that's designed to protect you. So in other words, if you're out here doing this kind of stuff, you probably want to get this kind of insurance. If you're going to be running your mouth, talking smack about people, you probably want to get this kind of insurance. So it goes on and says, and I'm going to read it again. It says, any form of def defamation or other tort related to disparagement or harm to the character, reputation, or feelings of any person. To the feelings. You hurt my feelings. Oh. Or organization. Now, I, I, I went and looked up. I said, what is tort? Okay, because I've heard this term, but I didn't really. It says, a tort is a civil wrong that causes harm to another person or entity. It's different from a crime, which is a violation of law that is punishable by the state. Common examples of tort include negligence, failing to exercise reasonable care, leading to harm. For instance, a car accident caused by distracted driving, intentions, in intentional torts, deliberate acts that cause harm, such as assault, battery, defamation, or trespass, strict liability, holding someone responsible for harm caused by their actions, even if they were not negligent or intentionally harmed. This often applies to dangerous activities like keeping a wild animal, dot, dot, dot. So a tort is basically a civil lawsuit that somebody can throw on you for some stuff that you're doing. So again, this is why you need to watch your mouth and you need to be careful what you're saying in those daggone notary um forms and stuff and posting online and talking about what you ain't going to do and this, that, and the other. You got to be careful. Goes on to say, so including liable, slander, product disparagement, trade liable. Let me, let me look up something real quick. And I just want to make sure. So trade libel is a specific type of defamation that involves false or harmful statements made about a business or its products or service. It can be it can damage the company's reputation, lead to financial loss and potential harm its relationships with its customers. Mm -hmm. OK, false statements made about a business or product statements made harmful to the business reputation. Publication statements must be have been communicated to it see yeah see all of that see this is why you got to be careful what you say and you got to be able to back it up mm-hmm yeah yeah okay <sighs> inflicting emotional distress malicious falsehood outrage outrageous conduct so you doing out so if you do an outrageous conduct, this is what is protecting you're covered if you do these kind of things. Okay, so if you're a person that plans on doing this kind of stuff, acting a pure T fool, you probably want to get some Biberk insurance. Okay, million dollar million dollar policy. Okay, so for all of those people who are talking about, oh, you don't need um you know insurance, you know, because um hey, you know, I, I don't do any mistakes and you know, I'm just doing general notary work and stuff, but if you run it off at the mouth. And if you're talking smack about people, if you're claiming somebody is this and somebody is that, ooh, you see what I'm saying? 
There's stuff that I say I can back it up. And see, I ain't going to go there. Any, now, here's the other part. Any form of invasion, infringement, or interference with rights of privacy or publicity involving, including false light, public disclosure of private facts, intrusion, breach of confidence, and commercial appropriation of name or likeness. So, in other words, and again, this, this fall, this, in other words, if you're out here stealing people's content, stealing people's material for their training courses, you probably want to get this. I think it would be best if you got this. Because if you're sitting up here doing these kind of things, infringing, invasion of another person's rights, okay, disclosing things, you know, publicly disclosure of private facts and stuff that you shouldn't be running your mouth off about. Intrusion breach of confidence you know me like i said let's just look up that breach of confidence breach of confidence is a legal concept that protects confidential information shared between two parties it occurs when one party discloses the information to a third party without the consent without the other party's consent the elements of a breach of confidence claims include disclosure of confidence you know, information. The information must have been disclosed to the other parties in confidence. So somebody, so if you're working with a company and they're disclosing stuff to you in confidence, and that's why there's things that get this, that get told to me that I can't talk about. I can't talk about. I can't. I can't. <laughs> you know. Um, Unauthorized disclosure, obligation of confidence, there must have been an obligation on the part of the recipient to keep the information confidential. This can be expressed in writing or verbally or implied by the circumstances. So, you got to watch what you're saying. You got to, you got, yeah, you got to watch. <clears throat> so, and commercial appropriation of name or likeness. So when you start trying, so when somebody comes out with a slogan um, or a logo or something, a brand, and then you start biting off of it, y'all know that old 1980s slang, biting. When you start biting off of what other people are doing, I hope you got some good E&O insurance. I hope you do, because if you don't, Griff might be coming at you. Wrongful entry or eviction trespass eavesdropping or other invasions of the right of private occupancy right of private oops can all right i'm the type when it, if I don't know it, let me look it up. The right of private occupancy is a legal concept that allows individuals to have exclusive control and use of a piece of property such as a home apartment. The right is typically deferred by the ownership, lease, interest, dot, dot, dot. All right. So don't be breaking into folks' stuff. <laughs> don't be, don't be, don't be trespassing and going into people's stuff. Then it says if you're involved, this is a liability of false arrest, detention, or imprisonment. So if you are causing somebody, you causing somebody to get falsely arrested, detention, or imprisoned, if you're involved in malicious prosecution, these are the things that this insurance policy covers. Now, the average person, hopefully that's all of y'all, hopefully it's the and the above average person would not be engaged in any of that. But if for some reason you decide to be a part of any of that, especially the earlier parts that I was reading about running off your mouth and talking smack about per people claiming that they are something and making statements about their character that are completely unfounded, your ENO can get hit. So you got one or two options. You need to get protected uh, by the proper ENO insurance. Or <laughs> you say, well, I don't have the protection and uh, you liable for whatever financial recourse that the courts may 
say that you are responsible for, you probably want to get the insurance. Now, that's up to you. You do what you want, you know, and then the rest of it. Oh, and it, oh, 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 oh. And then it also goes on and says spousal, spouse, sp spousal coverage. If a claim made against an individual's insured includes a claim against that individual's um, insured lawful spouse, solely by the reason of sp such spouse status as the individual's insured spouse or such spouse ownership interest in property from which the claimant seeks recovery. So if your spouse is involved in your business in some kind of way and they go running off at the mouth. <laughs> so if you got, you know, your boo, your, your, your special someone, um, don't know how to keep their mouth shut. Don't know how to keep their temper, temper, um, tempered. If that could cause some problems for you, if your spouse is a part of your business and they like to get on social media and, and start talking all kinds of smack and he bragging about what he going to do and how he, you going to mess with him. And I got some hitters and all that kind of stuff. Like that person was doing to me <laughs> talking about. They got they got some 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 folk that can come at me. Ooh. <laughs> okay. All I'm saying is, you better have the proper insurance. This is real people. This is business. And you can't be out here acting ghetto, trailer parkish, or any other low-minded, low-level thing that people would do, okay? People keep bragging about, oh, I'm a notary and I'm such a professional and this, that, and the other. And then the moment you think that somebody has, has the opportunity to make a dollar more than you or talking about, well, well, you know, um, them, them, them orders you talking about people taking that's under $100, you're hurting my business, you're doing this, that, and the other to me. And then you start going on the attack. You need to watch what you're saying. I'm not threatening anybody, okay? So I'm going to take this as a threat. I'm just telling you. <laughs> you got to watch what you're saying. You really do. You got to watch what you're saying. You have to be careful about what you're saying. And you got to be able to back up what you're saying. Now, granted, people who are out there doing stuff wrong and you may decide to call them out they may not want to come after you because it exposes their wrong <laughs> even the more because it's like oh well oh okay now everybody if i go if i try to stop that and I deal with it it's going to expose what i'm doing but when somebody's just sharing their opinion and giving facts behind it and you don't like it and you just want them to shut up and then you want to go at them, you need to be careful. And you, hopefully you got you some buy birth insurance. <laughs> and this is not a paid advertisement in any way, shape, or form. But this is just me sharing what I read. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> got it. So those of y'all who got bond insurance, you probably want to look at your policy and see what it cut, what you, what coverage it has meaning if you engage in certain activities or behaviors how would that how is that going to affect you that's what you probably want to do um but you do you all right you do you so y'all have a good one talk to y'all later peace